We're going to Kokomo, right? Sure. Sure, that's where we're going. We're, Whatever we're, you say. We're going on vacation. Aruba, Jamaica, Metaverse. Wait, <laughs> what? I don't understand. This I, is so weird. I, the point of going on vacation to me is experiencing something that you either have done before and enjoy that is away from your house or go and experience something that you have never done before, see something you have never seen before, and I guess you can see anything virtually. I just don't know that it's the same experience, right? I want I'm, I'm looking up on IMDb right now a film from 1990 with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sharon Stone. It was called Total Recall. Right. It was about a guy who went on virtual vacation because he had been having memories of the planet Mars in his head. Um, Is this, again, more projected stuff from the 90s that's actually going to happen now, 30 years later? Well, how much has that happened? Like, think about even not just from the 90s. You go back to the 60s and like Star Trek and the communicators that look just like a cell phone. And the computer floppy disks that look just like a floppy disk. <laughs> well, that's so weird. Well, that's true. But I mean, if you think about it, um, that's kind of the idea. We'll put you to sleep and we'll give you all the memories that you want. And I don't know if you remember, um, Colin nope. Farrell did the uh, the updated, more updated version. Nope, Basically, it's like, it'll be like you actually went on vacation. Well, that's exactly what they are uh, proposing in the metaverse where a robot will go for you so that you don't have to go. And I, I got to wonder if this has to do with people who are afraid because of, you know, travel restrictions or getting sick or, or whatever. But uh, you'll suit up like 185 miles away from your robot and then it goes to the beach and it goes to eat in Italy and it goes to no. goes to see all the fun stuff. No. I, uh, no, I think it's terrible. It, it copies your smiles. It, it hand, shakes hands and stuff for you. It basically takes your place in the metaverse. Uh, they said on one hand, the recent pandemic taught us that advanced telepresence systems might become necessary across, across different fields. But that's not the same. No. Now, they're saying now what what might be good is avatars are good for people with severe physical disabilities so that they can accomplish tasks in the real world and, and enjoy, you know, different different experiences. Well, those but, are special circumstances, and I get that. And I think that is awesome that, yeah. you know, people that couldn't experience it physically or what have you because of health limitations to be able to virtually experience going to Mount Rushmore or, or Australia or whatever, whatever it is. But... But what about the rest of us? Are we supposed to do this too? I don't know. Travelocity presents the Roaming Gnome, adversary of virtual vacations. Ah. Oh dear, I've just learned of a disturbing new trend in travel. They're getting rid of the travel part. (laughs) Soon, you'll send a robot on holiday while you stay home in VR goggles and a haptic exoskeleton. Now your dream vacation is a dystopian nightmare. Imagine sending a robot to Paris while you stay in Des Moines. Well, at least they're both French words. (laughs) And if you pardon my French, I have another word for it. Or maybe a virtual visit to a villa in Tuscany. While the robot eats fresh handmade pasta... You can shovel SpaghettiOs down your gullet. Same thing, right? Wrong. Maybe a virtual vacation is right for you. Or maybe it's a sign of the apocalypse. Travelocity. Never roam alone. Actually, it's fine to roam alone. As long as you still do the roaming part. The Big Morning Show with Fast and Renee. Only on Big 102.1.